Yo, what's up? Working on this challenge arena type thing. Um, I got some enemies running on the screen here, and today I'm gonna work on um, making this fun. I'm working on mechanics only. Not really considered considering visuals that much at all. Like these, like burrowing guys, make more sense in sandy or dirt areas, but they're like burrowing into some kind of metal ground. Doesn't matter to me right now. Really not important. What matters is the gameplay, like how does this feel fighting these guys. So the first thing is that they all come on the screen too slowly for this sort of like challenge or rush or wave type of thing. So I'm going to work on the timing of all these guys coming on screen so they come on quite faster. And then um, also work on the progression so as, you know, as they start coming on screen they should get progressively more difficult in the waves of enemies. So there just needs to be some organization to how the code uh, orders enemies. Right now I think it's kind of random. So those are the first two steps. I'm thinking eventually after you fight a wave, maybe the first wave is kind of easier. So yeah, there's a few items you earn in here in this room. So um, one wave you can earn one item, one wave you can earn another. Eventually there'll be a boss. So. Um, what kind of maybe a boss will walk on screen something like that I should get rid of the charge ability right now too because technically you shouldn't have either of those abilities possibly would have yeah the top hat like this let's just say not though you can wander into this cave pretty early on in the game all right um so the timing of enemies coming on screen, that is in Create AI. I think it's right here. No, that's the item. There we go, entrance style, time percent. All right, it's basically just right here. If um, this pattern, hmm, I think this should be should be a constant that is because there's there's pattern. Zero ship interior two, and that's what I'm using as the where these enemies are. But this really needs another kind of pattern type. Okay, um, pattern. It's basically the arena, something like an arena. That's pattern zero ship interior two. Why isn't the autocomplete working? Okay, get that compiling and then replace all the instances of zero ship interior two. So this is now pattern arena. Ah, oh, now the autocomplete's working. Maybe it's when the system goes and sleeps. Maybe after sleep the vim needs to be restarted or something to get that autocomplete always working. So the, the timer is going to be less. Let's go about half.
And there should be a word for the arena. You know it's a duplicate. This is the good stuff right here. This is what needed to be. Oh, just that one? That's all I really need. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So back here. All right, cool. Well, it was worth it, that change, just for that and this. No. Where your patterns? There, not what? Oh, I guess that is it. No? Where's the other change? Oh, area creation. Duh. Okay, so once this is done compiling, probably need to be ordered differently too. So that is in create names. Ah, uh, names that begin, names that end. Probably better to just add the names a little differently. Coming on a little slow. Okay, so then since this is actually a special case where um, the names need to be sorted according to their like difficulty of the enemy, sort of. It needs to be some kind of custom algorithm and it needs to only happen for this one room. I don't wanna change the, re the rest of the whole game. Um, so, yeah, let's do that in create names.
Probably need like a sorted class. Okay, we got a little sorted name class. Can loop over all the names. So I guess we could just sort them by their hit points. At first, I mean, there's probably gonna be something else I do here, but this is where What is names? All right, the int is the amount, quantity.
So if it doesn't contain a comma in the name, that means it's not dead. Strength plus equals oh, I guess just the hit points. And then we want Profile dot get float um, health dot HP. Oh, actually, that's um, constants HP. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then Push it back into the sorted names. Oh, they also, of course, need their quantity. So now we'll sort them. I see it's all in in motion. Oh, I thought profile had a get float. Oh, let's get attribute.
Oh, and we'll make sure that this room has some other foes in here too that will come in. They should come in later. So these guys will have more HP, they're stronger. Um, maybe just like a few of these. Oh. All right, so what do we have for existing names? We have two of them. All right, we got Roz and Zerbs. Roz came in there first because it's, oh, it's alphabetical. That's how this works. All right, so we get the profile. Let's see if that profile's all right. I'm with it. Yeah, Roz 20, cool profile. Roz, looks good. Awesome. Now getting its health. Ah, oh, very good. Oh. Oh, that's that needs to be parsed. Oh wait, it does already work that way. Hmm, what? Oh, maybe it takes the minus sign and just puts the number before, yeah, that's probably how that works. Great, so the Zerubs should have less strength. They should be a 0.5. Now, sort of names was Raz Zerub, and after the sort, oh, damn. Okay, so the names need to be sorted the other way. Let's move this down to here. Whoops, oh, I forgot to check. Okay, but any yeah, it works. Zero Roz. And names get cleared. Get recreated. So now they should be sorted. Oh, 
damn it. Oh, their map should be a vector of pairs. Uh, hmm. Okay, so this kind of needs to be worked in to the existing function. This needs to happen all the time. Except if it's We'll have a const bool. No, I mean a bool. Do sort. Ah, I guess const bool is fine. Yeah, const bool do sort equals pattern equals k pattern arena. So if we're not going to sort, we don't need to calculate its strength, which could be, you know, costly for some things. And if we're not going to sort, we don't need to do this either. And then we oh, also do not need to copy any of this into the names array. We just need to loop over. Oh, wait, why is this modifying names? Hmm. It is erasing names. Okay, this will obviously require some testing to make sure I didn't break anything. Break that updated names thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I think. Yeah. Okay, this should be okay.
which could be remedied in area creation. When we're creating these AI, they can all get E dot, I think it's AI flags actually. Okay, AI. It's K move. Oh, yeah, it's move allow inside walls. So they can all, they don't just die if they're outside of the walls. Somehow the rods are getting in there already, though. What if it randomizes? Good. Okay, so why are these rods are hard? I want all the serves to come in first. Okay, good. They're out of order. They're sorted. They're in order. All right, so it should get in to uh, this other function. Create AI. All right, here we are. Zero. Zero I zero. Okay, I'm gonna decrease these quantities so this is easier to debug. Two of each.
Oh, the index resets to zero for each enemy type. What does that get called? Okay. Here it is. It's passing in. Uh, this is all in create names. Okay. So create names needs to do something. So if we're, if we're doing do sort, then... To, okay, so we have full count. Ah, okay. So if it's int i equals do sort, we want to use the foe count. Otherwise, we use the i as normal. So all existing areas will function as they used to, and the the uh, overall foe count will determine the index for the arena where it does the do sort flag here. There we go. Okay, and let's see that all with like a ton of ton of these guys. challenge that was not hard at all but that's the whole point I want this first one to be pretty easy because you can you can literally walk into this place from the overworld so well I guess you, in most worlds you probably need one advanced item probably you know the ghost sword probably the ghost sword to get here so you need to be have you know been to like dungeon three or so okay one thing I could do before the end of the stream here, or this video, is um, make it so there's no item drops. Oh, that's also here. An area creation. And make them walk on screen a little bit faster. Let's try that wave again. So I have a few hard containers here, or a few teeth. <laughs> um, I think I've got a half row. Maybe I should have one less health by now. Because if you have the ghost sword, you probably beat three or so dungeons by the time you get here. Okay, that's cool. I'm starting with one less health anyways. 
coming on screen faster this time. attack ability is just really affecting your ability to stay alive from getting hurt by your own bombs. Okay, so I did eat a few cactuses there. If I hadn't have ate cactuses, that would have been more of a challenge, but this is, this is feeling about right for the first challenge. Something like about this as much. Oh, my alarm's going off. All right, well, I gotta get going. That's it for this video. Um, just making some progress, you know, steady progress towards this sort of this arena slash enemy rush slash boss rush. You know, there'll be bosses here too. Like maybe this actually will be a total just like boss after boss, something like that. But I want to play with this idea of waves of enemies as well. Uh, and items you can earn in here. So this will probably take the rest of the week to kind of get a good prototype for this room going. But once it's, um, yeah, after this week, we should be able to get it on Steam and um, put it up on the beta branch so this could be tested by players. Um, that's all. Yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.